My name is Trayvon Bromell, and this is my Baylor story. Well, it all started in St. Petersburg, Florida. Growing up, not really a big city. Kind of on the bad side a little bit growing up. I really didn't live in a good neighborhood. Uh, just growing up with my friends and having that family support. I went through a lot of stuff with losing friends to just dealing with family issues, but having my mom and my uncle and my grandparents and my close cousins uh, and some of my friends, you know, just to get me through life, I feel like it was a big journey. Well, running all started with back in my neighborhood. I met my friend TJ Holmes. It was crazy because he came across the gate and he was like, hey, my dad wants us to race against each other. And I was like, all right, cool. So I come across the gate and we just started running. And I ended up being faster than him and my friend Liddell Golden. And his dad was like, you, you got some good talent. So that's when he uh, introduced me to my AAU track coach, uh, Garlene Boy. And it was just a, a straight shot from there, you know, just building on the character of me and building me as a runner and just seeing how far this journey can go. My mom, Shira Sanders, she, she's a great mother, hard worker. Uh, work ethic is on point with everything she does. Uh, growing up, I really didn't, I didn't have my father. He lived in another state. Uh, my mom really raised me as the man and the woman of the household. My brother, David Green, I want to say he was a main factor in my life also. He's always stood by my side. Anything I needed, he was there. When I didn't have money for clothes, he provided it for me too also. My other brother who lived in Connecticut uh, with my father, Marquise Bromel, and he recently just got out of jail. So right now we're just starting to communicate. I know he's taking a, a tough loss with the loss of my father. So me and him just dealing with that, uh, I feel like one day I want to be able to get up there to, with him and help him out, you know, just help him get back on his feet with life. I feel growing up, I dealt with a lot of injuries, starting off with both of my knees and the last injury was uh, my hip. And I felt like those three injuries kind of built me into the type of person I am. And it molded me into a soldier when it comes to work ethic. I feel like now I have to work twice as hard, three times as hard than the next person because I don't want the injuries to, one, come back on me. And two, I just feel like working harder, it just builds a more better person when it comes to competing and just wanting to be your best. So I'm blessed to have these injuries because they made me into the man I am now. Uh, after the injuries, um, me and my mom kind of just basically stayed on a stationary bike, just getting the motion back into bending my knees and doing doing things like around the house. Like she had me walk a lot of places, riding bicycles a lot of places, just because we couldn't really afford doing the physical therapy at the hospital and stuff like that. So we never did physical therapy. It was all homemade things that we did to get me back on my feet. And going through all the whole recruiting process, a lot of schools kind of backed up off me because uh, I didn't take the ACT on time. I was late. And I was just looking on Google. I was just typing in top 25 schools that's good in track and field. And I think Baylor was ranked like 16. I don't know if it was an old post or a recent one. I was like, you know what? Something just told me, let's click on Baylor website. So I'm going through the history looking at it. I'm like, okay, it's kind of nice. So I end up telling my AU coach, can you call uh, the sprint coach, coach of uh, Mike Ford? And she was like, yeah. So we got in contact, we started talking and it just, when I met him, it was a connection that I knew. I was like, he's the coach for me. I knew, I can tell that he was a loyal coach. It was more than just track and field talent with him. It was more of, I'm looking out for you. You know, I'm here for you whenever you need me. And that's the type of coach I feel like I needed. Ramel in lane five, Locke in lane six. Ramel with an early lead. Can he hold it? Trayvon Ramel, the freshman does hold it. 9.99 seconds unofficially rounded down to 9.97, just 18 years of age. And that is a new world junior record. When it came down to the 100 meter finals at Oregon at Nationals, my first thing in my head I thought about, I was like, Trey, you only have one shot at this. This is the final. If you mess up, there's no coming back and asking for another chance. It's no redo. So when I got into the blocks, I'm not gonna lie, it was a lot of nerves build up because I know I had a lot of eyes watching. At first, it really wasn't the day that I really wanted because I think at first it was kind of cloudy out and only Lord knows I love to run when the sun is shining. So right before the race, I started just praying. I was like, God, just open the clouds, bring the sun out. And soon as the clouds spread it open, I just felt comfortable and I felt relaxed. So when I came about the blocks and I knew I was in first, 
I just knew it was meant to be because God answered a prayer knowing that I love to run in the sunshine. When I crossed the line at nationals and seen the time, nine seconds, it was a crazy experience because Lord knows I've been wanting to break 10 seconds my whole life. Even since high school when I ran the wind date at 9 9, a lot of people was like, oh, I don't know if you'd be able to do it for real or legally or anything like that. So when I crossed the line, I looked up and I seen the time. At first it was 9.99. And I was still happy I was blessed. I was like, man, I actually broke 10 seconds regardless of what the time was. And then I seen them drop it to 9.97. And I was like, man, it's a lot more that I can do. I just have to get stronger, you know, get more endurance. So it just showed me a lot. Coming down the track at a fast pace, it's really a moment that you really can't even enjoy because it happens so quick. It comes in a blink of an eye. When I came out the blocks, I came up and I noticed the line was right there. It didn't hit me how fast I was running until I passed the line and seen the time. And just to come up and just know, like, man, I just went 9.97 seconds. It's like a blur in the moment. Like, you're like, man. And then it's like, now you live in a whole new lifestyle. You have people looking up to you, coming up to you, want to take pictures. It's like, it's crazy because I enjoyed the moment. Growing up and even to this day, I always have Olympic dreams. I always have world championship goals. You know, that's my motivation. I always told myself, it's not about the money. It's not about, you know, the publicity and the fame. My dream has always been being an Olympian. And I feel like a lot of people don't really understand that. I just feel like I always wanted to be on that platform to be able to be one of the greats. A lot of people want to know what it's like for me to actually be a Baylor Bear, and the feeling is triumphant. It's like feeling victorious. It's like being Muhammad Ali winning a boxing match or you know winning a Super Bowl or being an Olympian. It's a feeling that you can't replace. My name is Trayvon Bromel, and this is my Baylor story.